we go. All right, uh, so let's see. I'm going to make sure my uh, SRS is on. Yep, SRS is on. Good. All right, uh, uh, so multiplayer servers, favorites. All right, so the one that I always play on is the Syria map. It's the uh, 4YA Syria. So in the search bar where it says search server, type in 4YA, and then you should be, yeah, and then you should uh, see it there. Uh, the U.S. one, yeah. Okay. Right, I'm yep, I'm loading the uh, server as well right now. All right, for some reason, one of my mouse is not working properly. Every time I click something, it double clicks. So I'm going to use my other mouse. I've got two mice connected on my computer at all times because I've got one that's like super sensitive for gaming. So I use that one for gaming FPS usually. Oh shit. Fuck. What what'd you say? Uh well I've got two connected. Uh the one that I game with is one of those XG models. It's kinda like a, an imitation razor. It's got twelve buttons on the sides and it's got a DPI sensitivity on the top. But yeah, I use a 12 button mouse for uh, because I use that for squad and for escape from Tarkov. That way I have everything on the side. That's pretty helpful. It's only have two in my mouse. <laughs> yeah, most mouse only have two back and forward for navigating browsers. But, uh, yeah, right now I am loading the server. So, do you have a secondary monitor so that you can watch my uh, stream on, on Discord if I share my screen? Okay. So, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, if you can stream, if your computer can handle it, Let's each share each other's monitor on Discord so we can keep an eye on what each other is doing. So that way I can, you can watch me on Discord as I'm doing whatever I'm teaching you. I don't know. Me too. It is so fucking slow today. Probably because I haven't loaded DCS in a while too. Oh my god, that's all I've been playing for the last month. Yeah, I'm pretty much hooked on it. Although lately the game has been pissing me off like fucking crazy. Um, yeah, the goddamn spa extract camping is so annoying. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just got in now. Alright, so then I'm going to sort by unit type and then scroll down to A10C2. And for this server, I usually spawn at Adana. So just load in at Adana and choose the uh, next slot over below me. Yo Q, yes, uh, we are on 4YA. We are on the usual server. One of the guys I usually fly with is uh, in the stream. Ah, fuck my goddamn. Uh, uh, my track IR button is not working. My recenter cam. No, uh, luckily I don't have to restart the game. I just need to restart. Or just need to reset my uh, recenter. Yep, 
Yeah, normally I have to close it because if I start, uh, if I start my, uh, fuck. God damn it, I even forgot the name of it. My uh, track, yeah, if I reset track IR while the uh, HOTAS is unplugged, it won't recenter. There we go. Now my button is set. There we go. Now we're good. So now I can look around. I'm good to go. Now all I need to do is once I'm back in game, if SR if track IR is disabled, I just got to go to adjust controls and rescan devices. Then it'll reconnect my track IR. One of my viewers actually showed me this a couple months ago. There we go. Now everything's reconnected. There we go. Now I'm good. All right, so it's been a while since I've been on here, so now to remember what button does what. All right, so if I remember right. Okay, yeah, this is, that is my HUD brightness. Cool, now to raise my seat. My God, yeah, I was way below. There we go. All right, recenter. There. All right. If I remember correctly, yep, that is uh, DMS, I believe, this button. Or no, T TSD. All right. Uh, yoink. That I want on steer point. My anti-skid is off. If I remember correctly, it's this button. Yep. Anti-skid. Parking brake. Uh, what button is, I think it's this one, yeah, there we go, loadout, it's been like three months since I've played DCS, yeah, it's a while, yeah, I've just been sick and tired of fucking dying a lot, but that's because I suck with the F-18, there we go, PV. Yeah, I'm better with the A-10 than I am the uh, F-18. There we go. Uh, have you seen that the new F-15E is being developed and is about to go on pre-sale pretty soon? I believe so. Uh, no, February... I think next week. I think next week we're about to have the... Uh, yeah. All right, let's see, what is my, okay, there we go, there's my shortcut for that. Yep, there we go. Because I usually go outside, is that you next to me? Yeah, that's me. Nice. All right, you are next to me on stream. Right now I'm just looking at my uh, lights. Okay, there we go, my lights are on. All right, so if you want to take a look at my, uh, if you look on Discord, I'll show you what my loadup is. So my loadup that I usually have is something that, so in order to say pre-save loadouts, you have to set it in your multiplayer. Uh, when you go to the mission editor and save these, they'll, they'll be usable in multiplayer. So what I've got is, like, as you can see here, I've got PvE Bombing Run 1. That's what I'm loading up right now. So on my 7, 8, 5, and 4, so the inboard pylons, I'm using uh, GBU 38s. They're GPS-guided 500-pound bombs. So that is when I have a location designated with my targeting pod, it locks on that position to my GPS or to where my targeting pod is looking. Because in the A-10, whatever you are looking at on the targeting pod, that is going to be your... Uh, oh my god, what is it called again? Uh, P-I-S? No, point... Shit, I forgot what the terms are called. It's been a while since I flew this plane. Uh, but basically whatever is your designator where that wedding cake is, 
that is where your GPS is uh, located on. So when you locate, when you set a, your targeting pod to a set location and you make that uh, uh, point of interest, point of P, speed, your speed, your uh, special, I forgot what speed stands for, but it's something po point of interest. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so whenever your speed is set on your targeting pod and you launch a bomb there, the GPS guide guidance system will set it to fall there. So the, on pylons 4, 5, 7, and 8, I have GBU-38s. They're 500-pound bombs. Then on pylons 3 and 8, I have... Uh, JDAMs, or sorry, no, uh, three and nine are my uh, Mavericks. So those are the AGM 65D. Those are IR guided. So whenever you're locked onto a tank with your targeting pod, you set that as SPI so that then your Mavericks on this side of the pylon get locked onto as well, which I'm going to turn those on. So whenever you have Mavericks, you want to make sure that you go to the Mavericks page here and turn the seeker head on. So now it's aligning. It's going to take about eight minutes for that to happen, or about five to eight minutes. So that you want to warm up if you're close to the engagement zone. Then I usually put my targeting pod on pylon 10, so it's on the end. Uh, so as you can see, uh, no, it's on this side. See, my targeting pod is right here. So that way, when I do uh, right hand or left hand orbits, uh, or no, right hand orbits, I usually do orbits to the right so that the seeker of the uh, camera is looking straight down this way, out that way. So that way, uh, none of my missiles on the inside are in the way. But yeah, uh, so I've got uh, Sidewinders, two air-to-air -air missiles on the end pylon. Then I have my, uh, so yeah, these are Sidewinders here, air-to-air -air, uh, heat seekers. And then I've got uh, my targeting pod, Mavericks, GBUs, and then same thing mirrored on the other side. Then I've got laser-guided rockets and then my ECM pod. So that way I can use my jammer. So now everything is on. Uh, everything is in. Now let's see. I think that, yep, yeah, that is my button for my jammer. Yep, jammer is set. That's on. Steering engaged. Yep, good to go. Uh, now I'm going to contact uh, Yoink. Let's see where I am. All right, the Donna is up here, so let's see. For, oh yeah, this is what you wanted to know yesterday is frequencies. So for frequencies, did you end up watching the video I showed you last night? Yeah, I was watching, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so whenever you're at an air base, what you want to do is click on the air base name, and then it'll give you an ATC here. So as you can see, we've got 121.1, 39.45, and 251. Anything that's over 200, like 2 or 300, that's going to be your UHF. Because UHF only goes in 200s and 300s. Because uh, if you look at this knob here, it only goes in 2 and 3, or alpha. Yeah. So, ATC for Adana. So, what you want to do is write down your frequencies. I actually went online and bought a uh, one of those friggin' uh, lap pads for pilots. I found a really nice one online for like 50, 40 bucks. So, I basically strap it to my leg and then I can just write down frequencies. Yeah, I'm pretty much all set up just like a pilot. <laughs> all right, 
so for frequencies, Adana, so as we can see there, we've got 121, oops, my pen wasn't on, 121.1, we've got 39.450, and then we've got 251.000, and that is for Adana. So Adana ATC. So the way it works is that 121.1, that is going to be your uh, VHF AM. All right, so this is going to be, all right, let me lock in my uh, track IR here, right there. What the hell? Okay. Uh, my... Uh, yeah, it's because when I reset my track IR, I forgot. I, I reset my center button, but I did not set my uh, button for uh, freeze or pause. There we go. Now it's set. All right. Now when I look at something, I can pause my track IR so it stops moving around. There we go. All right, so as I said, 121.1 is VHF AM. That's this one. So 121.1, so it's in 1, 2, so 120. And then we're going to bring that down to 1, so 121.1. There you go. Now that radio is set. 39.4, that is the VHF FM. So we're going to go to 39 and 45. So 0.45. Five zero zero. So now VHF FM is set. Now 251, that is going to be your UHF. So there you go, 251. Now that's set. So all my three radios for Adana are set. So now when I open up the comms for said radio frequency, uh, for that you're going to use the buttons that are for hot, uh, HOTAS mic switch forward, aft, and uh, down. So down is going to call the UHF. Uh, aft is for the uh, FM, and forward is for uh, AM, I believe. So in... No, you use at radio menu. Radio menu is for the uh, in-game shit. See, like this on the top here. So when you want to talk to the uh, in-game audio, it's that radio call. So as you can see, the up one is AM. The aft one is FM. And then the back one is your UHF. So if one radio doesn't answer you, see like I'm going to try AM. So ATC, Adana, request taxi to runway. And then we'll see if they answer. If they don't answer, I'm going to try again on a different frequency. See, they didn't answer. So that means no one's on, on AM. Now I'm going to go to FM. See, nothing, nothing is even popping up. So what I'm going to do is instead go to UHF. See, now it highlighted. So under UHF, 251.000, request taxi. Weird. Usually it answers by now. Sometimes if there's a lot of people on... Let's see, yeah, it, traffic is not busy. We're the only two at this airfield. Yeah, uh, which radio did you use? You The UHF? Okay, weird. I'm going to try again. Requ oh, maybe it did allow me, because now it's, t it's a saying request takeoff. 
Takeoff is usually once you're already there. So maybe I didn't hear him or something. But anyway, the uh, the, uh, the runway here is 2-3. So we are going to taxi to 2-3 and then hold short at about... This is usually the hold short. Anytime you look at a map and... Hang on. Whoops. There we go. Anytime you see a line like this, that's the hold short pattern. So you're supposed to hold short here, request takeoff. Once they give you the okay to take off, then you line up and then you go. So most airfields, it's literally like here, but at this airfield, it's here. Uh, so yeah, let's taxi. So parking brake off, uh, anti-skid on. So the anti-skid is here in case you're watching my stream here. Oh, yeah, I stopped streaming. Whoops. Hang on. There we go. And I'll watch yours in case I want to see what you're doing. There we go. All right. So now I got three screens up. I got my screen, my stream, and you on, you on Discord. All right. Cool. So this is pretty much just like when I'm watching Operator Jerski do these tutorials for some of his viewers. I'm doing the same thing for you. All right. So now uh, everything is good to go. My uh, weapons are all set. Oh, yeah. One thing I'm not sure if you learned when you you load your weapons, you go to your DSMS pa or your load page and then you go to where it says uh, load DSMS. Whoops. I hit the wrong button. Okay, cool. There we go. Load DSMS. Then once all my radial or the buttons load up, yeah, there you go. Now my weapons are all loaded. So now we're good to go. All right. So I think we are all good. Oh, yeah, that's that. What's this button do? Oh, yeah, that's for my weapon release page. All right, so I believe we are all set. All right, so uh, uh, your canopy is still up, by the way, man. Okay, mine is down. I don't know why yours is up. This server usually does a uh, hot start for us, so weird. So as soon as we take off, uh, the first thing we want to do once we're airborne and level is we are going to want to have our CB UHF set to uh, 305. So 305 is the standard on this server for the uh, for all planes to be on. So if you need to communicate with other planes, that's the channel you're going to use. And for that one, you are going to need your uh, SRS uh Freq your SRS key bind. So I don't know what you've got set for your push to talk, but that is what we're going to need. Uh, which reminds me, I don't think my SRS is set. I think I'm going to have to go. Do you not know what uh, your SRS is? Okay. SRS is another program you need to install outside of uh, outside of uh, the game. Oh, you don't have that? Yeah, that is something you're gonna need to download. Yeah, that that's fine. You don't need it right now. I will basically do all of the comms for us. All right. I don't know why it keeps telling you to hold position. I don't know why he's only talking to you. It's like he's ignoring me. All right. He's going to keep telling you that until I, I go. So I'm just going to go. There's no one here anyway. We're literally the only ones at this airfield. So just just come on up next to me. We'll we'll do we'll do a uh, staggered takeoff together. We'll we'll do some cool shit. Yeah. 
yeah just make sure you're make sure you're not going too fast all right you know what i'm sick and tired of uh hearing this guy so let's just go to three let's just go to 305 right now There you go. Just gonna change all of my AM and FM just so we can be on a different frequency. All right. Okay. Uh, that is good there. So whenever you're in staggered formation, you want to make sure you're about two plane lengths away from each other, just in case wind pushes me into your lane or something like that. So you're in a good spot right there. So what you want to do is you need to have flaps down. So we need to go at least. Uh, half flaps down so on your flap indicator right here you should be at about either 10 or 40 but considering how heavy we are with weapons we should be at about that angle here is what you should be looking at so at about 40 degrees so yeah you're at the right flaps right now your your flaps are good all right so now what you want to do is hold in your brake hold in the brakes Bring your throttle at about 80%. So your brake should be about holding you in place right now. And then, so look at me. All right, so now my brakes are just on the verge of letting go. Now I'm going to go full burner, let go of the brakes. So now it's going to give me enough power that when I go, I'm going to have enough thrust to lift off. So basically about three seconds after I take off, that's your cue. And I see that you already did, so that's good. At about 110 knots, that's when you disengage nose wheel steering and climb at about a steady five degrees. So basically you want your attitude control over that bar that says five, zero five. That's a five degree pitch then uh wheels up oh i see you nice and steady behind me that's good okay let's climb up a little more let's go at about eight degrees pitch all right so we will climb up at about ten thousand feet uh, follow me. I'm just going to do a slight bang to the left. Let's see where we are on the map. I want to obviously have us head towards the action. Uh, let's see. All right. So we are basically going to head towards a, a one, one, 190 or 160. So we're basically going to head southwest. So let's, uh, mostly bombs, Na Mavs I use against, uh, I use against, uh, station, uh, against tanks and shit like that. All right, where the fuck am I? All right, oh, I went to 150. Let's turn towards bearing 160. Or actually, no, let's hit, yeah, around 165. So that little carrot on the bottom of your screen, that's your uh, indicator. Like if you look at my Discord, right there, like 165 is our bearing right now. All right, so let's slowly climb at a rate of about uh, five degrees again. So I'm gonna bring my nose down a little. I don't know why, is my HUD in daytime or night? Uh, where is my HUD? I'm pretty sure I'm set to day. Yeah, it's green. Green is day. I don't know why my friggin' brightness... It's either that or it's the sun that's too bright right now. Yeah, yeah. all right. So now I'm going to... Now that we're in the air, I'm going to go master arm on as well. So master arm on. And I'm going to go t turn on my targeting pod as well. Uh, no, those. that's my gun pack. That's gun uh where is my oh yeah i think it's this thing 
There we go, targeting pod on. So if you go to the right side and go to TGP, it should say not timed out. Whoops, I am nose diving. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, I have a bad habit of not having my uh, autopilot. autopilot on. So there we go. I'm going to set my autopilot to uh, altitude heading hold. So altitude heading hold, and then that's where you push that uh, middle. I forgot what that's called. Uh, let's see. Whoops. Uh, HOTAS left throttle button in the uh, control options. So throttle left throttle button, that is essentially the button that controls your uh, your uh, autopilot. So it turns it on and off. Every time you change one of these options for your autopilot, whether it be path, altitude heading, or altitude hold, anytime you change from one to the other, it won't take effect until you turn your autopilot off and then on again. All right, so now for my uh, my TAD page, tactical awareness. So I made it uh, made it SPI. Now I'm gonna go map on manual. So now when I zoom in and out, it'll actually keep the map on. So now I'm going to go and designate a spot for us to go to. So let's see. Actually, I'm, that's not going to give me anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the F10 map. So all of our forces are pretty much focusing on waypoint 11 right now at Hama. That's where most of our planes are. So we will go support them. Uh, so we are going to head first towards waypoint 9, Abu al-Duhur, because uh, we have mostly friendlies there. So we obviously don't want to fly over enemy airspace in an A-10, or else we'll constantly get shot by SAMs. So let's head for waypoint 9. So for that, we are going to need to go here in our HUD, make HUD soy. And then use your TAD, uh, your, uh, what is this called again? It's been so long since I flew this plane. Uh, this HOTAS, DMS, there you go. DMS right and left are what we are going to use to determine which waypoint we're going to. Uh, no, it's DMS up and down, sorry. So we're going to use DMS up until we see nine here. So waypoint nine, which is called mission eight, we are literally 103 miles from there. It is going to take us, and the timer below is how long it's going to take to get to that waypoint. So at our current speed and altitude, it would take us 20 minutes to get there. And now, and so now that little uh, number right here, where it says 115 with a left arrow. That means we need to head to bearing 115 for that. So now I'm going to disengage autopilot and I'm going to bank left. So if you're following me, I'm doing a sl slight 20, 30 degree bank and I'm going to be heading towards way, uh, towards bearing 114. And uh, if you see that little air, uh, line, if you look at my stream, uh, that little line that sticks out from, uh, where's my cursor? Uh, fuck, you can't really see my cursor, but that little line that sticks out. So, yeah, if you see that little line that comes out of my uh, head, my JTAS, my joint helmet system, uh, you'll see that that little line is pointing to our waypoint. That's waypoint nine. Anytime you set a waypoint to something in an A10, that is going to become your SPI. So right now, that little square in the middle of my screen with the little line to it, that is basically telling me that is my SPI right there. So the arrow is point. The nose of my help, my uh, plane is basically going to be facing that. 
So that's why there's a little line pointing back and forth here. All right, so now we are heading for that waypoint. So now I'm going to go back to autopilot. All right. All right, so everything looks good. Uh, so now we're heading for waypoint nine. So now if we look at the F10 map. So as you can see, now we are heading at a bearing of about 114. Yeah, around here. So we're heading pretty much north of waypoint nine. Once we get directly north, Oh, yeah, see, they just captured Waypoint 11. So we now have that airfield. So now it looks like most of our forces are pushing south. So what we'll do is once we get to around this area near Khan Asubul, once we get around here, we'll head straight south, flying over our friendly airspace. And then we will head, I think, here, where most of the action is not. So that way we will have some targets to fire at. Uh, this is not a waypoint, though, so what we're going to have to do is try to find it using our targeting pod. We'll, uh, yeah, it looks like there's a Scud launcher there. There's a T-55 tank. Uh, yeah, that might be a little hard to find, but we'll see. Uh, so basically what we need to do is look for landmarks, like this airfield. So we'll look on the map for the airfield, and then we will basically look for that town to the northeast on our TAD. So what I plan to do is locate this uh, airfield on the TAD and then I'm going to use a uh, mark point to make a mark point near that village. Uh, so do you know how to use mark points? Mm, pro pro yeah, I'm guessing you haven't learned that yet. So a mark point is basically this thing here on the right hand side of your seat where it says uh, mission mark and then flight plan mission is basically what's already programmed in your flight computer basically mark point is what you want if you want to add points on the ground so in order to add a mark point you use dms left on your joystick whenever you're l either looking at something with the hud uh, with your helm mounted, hel helmet mount. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Which version of the A10 are you using? Are you using the C1 or C2? It's C2. Okay. On the right-hand side here where I'm looking, look, find this toggle which says on, off, bat. This here is your joint... Oh, yeah, it's already on, yeah. yeah, the HMCS. So if that's on... Whenever you look outside of your cockpit, you should see this thing. Yeah, that thing. So in order to make that soy, meaning you make it your sensor of interest, you want to use your... What button is this? Uh, coolie. Uh, so on your throttle, the coolie switch, the button that you use to go from left soy to right soy and whatever, what you want is to use a coolie switch up, which brings your HUD soy. See, as you can see the diamond, now my HUD is soy. When the HUD is soy, you want to then hit coolie switch down. Now, the diamond is here on your HMCS, as you can see on Discord. So one, no, you don't hold, you just put click up. So yeah, click up, there you go. That diamond is next to the L on the left side of your HUD. You see the L where it says manual release? There's a little diamond right above the release. That means your HUD is soy. Now hit coolie switch down. Now the diamond is right under your altitude of 290. Yeah, or no, that's your speed, airspeed. So yeah, now that is soy. So now what you want to do is anytime you look at something with the middle right here, if you look at something and you hit DMS left short with your uh, HOTAS. So DMS left, whatever you have set for your shortcut for that. So yeah, click buttons until you see DMS. 
So it should be DMS up, up, down, left, and right. It's somewhere over here, man. Hold up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So that button is what you're going to use in order to set a mark point. But you won't see a mark point up on your display unless you have this set to mark point. Mm -hmm. So set it to mark point or actually leave it at mission right now. So look at my Discord right now. So if I look here and I hit DMS left short, nothing happens. You don't see anything here. However, on your TAD, if you look out, uh, let's see, I'm going to zoom in here. Uh, is this Q? Yeah. Oh, hey man, welcome. Uh, right now we are heading towards uh, Waypoint 9 until we clear the uh, the hostile airspace directly south of us. Then we're going to head south towards uh, Waypoint... Uh, let's see here. We are heading not far from Waypoint 12 at Kazir. Right now we plan on heading to towards Shirat Airfield... Uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, we are going to go to for waypoint 12. The objective I wanted to do, the F-16s are already attacking it, which I don't know why. The F-16 should be engaging the air-to-air. -air. Yeah, he... Up, uh, air -air right now, so. Okay, cool. Yeah, but uh, if you want to support us, we will be heading towards waypoint 12. Oh, yeah, so right now I'm just showing uh, airs here, how mark points work. So right now, as you saw, mark points are not doing anything for me right now because I don't have mark points on. However, if I do put my thing to mark points, uh, which is, okay, it is this thing. Uh, yeah, so I don't know why my mark point is not showing up right now. Oh, that's why. I am. I was using the wrong button, that's why. It's DMS right to place a mark point down, not DMS left. So as you can see, Ayers, DMS right is going to drop a mark point on the map. And then when you, uh, and then uh, what happens is you then use your targeting pod to slave to that point. And then you can, oh, which I don't have an air to ground mode. There we go. So now I'm going to make that soy. And then I'm going to use, I think this is China hat. Yeah, China hat forward long. Uh, by the way, Ayers, do you know the difference between short and long presses? Okay, you did learn those? Okay. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mark point here. So let's see right here. Mark point Bravo. Uh, whoops. Oh, I think I know why. There we go. There we go. Mark point Delta. So now what I'm going to do is... Now that I'm in mark point, I can scroll using uh, DMS up and down. See, on my right here, I, it says mark, no longer mission. So right now, I'm, f I'm switching back and forth through my mark points. So now if I go to mark point delta and I make my targeting pod soy and I hit China hat forward long, it's going to slave to that mark point. See, it automatically snapped here. So now, as you can see, now I can slave my targeting pod over that. So the good thing about mark points with the joint Hellman mounted display is that if you see a missile flying towards you and you evade it and you're like, oh, there's a SAM site over here. Well, obviously there's no waypoint there. So in order to find it with your targeting pod, what you're going to do is you're going to make your head-mounted soy, like with that asterisk on the bottom left here. You're going to look at where the SAM site was, or it's in general area. Hit DMS right short. Boom. Mark point E. Now, by scrolling up and down with my uh, DMS, boom. I made mark point E my, my SPI. So now I'm going to go uh, coolie hat right long to make my targeting pod soy. Then I'm going to go China hat forward long, and boom. That is now my uh, my targeting pod is looking over that area. 
Now, I don't remember how to go back and forth between... Uh, shit. I forgot how to go from TV to... Whoops. Fuck, what is the button for that? White Hot and Black Hot. Yeah, I forgot what that button is. Boat. Okay, I thought that is what I was using. Oh no, this is. Oh yeah, this is China Hat. This is boat. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it is not working for me right now. All right, hang on a sec. Yeah, boat switch forward and aft. That is what I've got. Yeah, that is what that is bound to. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working. Okay, there you go. Now it's working. Yeah, so... Yeah, I know it was soy, but I don't know why. I think it was because I hit uh, I hit China hat instead of boat, so I was in a different mode. See, like right now I'm in laser search. There you go. Now I'm in back in the other mode, area mode. Yeah, so now we're good. So pushing the button in brings you in, C in TV mode, and then uh, right is black hot, white, left is uh, black hot. Yep. What? No, sorry, not okay. All right, so now I'm going to look at the F10 map, see where we're at. Oh my god, this hog is so fucking slow. Okay, we're pretty much where I want us to be. Uh, so we still have a bunch of uh, Sam rings in the area, so... We will make a slow bank to the right, and we're going to head for waypoint 12. So because I'm in mark point right now, I won't be able to see waypoint 12. So what we want to do is go back to mission, and now we are going to use DMS up and down with the Hudsoy to mark waypoint 12 as our designator. So now waypoint 12, as we can see in the, J, J, uh, the head mounted display, that little line is pointing us right at waypoint 12, which is right here where the diamond cake is. So now we are going to do a slight bank. So autopilot off, and I'm going to do a slight bank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself into uh, altitude hold. So that way I can still bank. I think I'm in altitude hold. Yeah, I am. Uh, maybe not. There we go. Altitude. No, that says altitude heading hold. What I want is, all right, let's see. Altitude heading path. Okay, there we go. I had my buttons mixed up a little. So path, altitude heading, and altitude. There we go. So now I'm in altitude hold, but I can still bank. So now I'm going to do a slight 30-ish degree bank so that we can gradually head towards uh, waypoint 12. So obviously with the altitude heading, you have to manually hold the stick sideways. It's not going to hold its bank for some reason. Not unless you're in the bank when you, when you hit hold. So I'm going to disengage my autopilot bank and then hit altitude hold. Now it keeps me in that bank. So now I can let go of my stick and do something else. See, now I'm in a nice slow bank. I see you right there behind me. Nice. I'm loving the formation. 
All right, so now we are slowly heading towards waypoint 12. Where are we? Oh, there we are. All right, so now I'm going to disengage autopilot, and I'm going to go back to uh, heading and altitude, and I'm going to hold us in at bearing 180. Boom. Altitude heading hold. All right, you're doing a good job keeping up. You're at full mill, right? You mean your throttle is not all the way? No. You must you must be lighter than I am, cause I'm at full speed right now. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you're a little under under mill. Yeah, that's good. All right, so now we know. Uh, if we look at the F10 map, let's see here. All right, so. We are heading towards waypoint 12. So if you look in your HUD, uh, waypoint 12 is 76 miles out. It's going to take us 14 minutes and 50 seconds to get there. However, as soon as we get to about 43 miles, we're going to slow down to about half power. The reason for that is because the DCS will not render anything on the targeting pod until we're about 43 miles from our destination. So like right now, as you can see, if you make your uh, targeting pod soy and, you're, and you designate it to waypoint 12 where we're heading, even if you zoom in, you're not going to see anything. Nothing, nothing shows up on the ground. That's because DCS will not render anything until about 43 miles. So as soon as we hit 43, that's where we'll slow down and we'll start marking shit using mark points. So that's the advantage of using mark points in the A-10 is that you can mark a bunch of targets and then that's the good thing about having a notepad. You can write down mark point A, mark point B, mark point C and write down next to it what it is. That way you can make a uh, literal list of all your targets. So that way, when you scroll up and down through your mark points, uh, which uh, if you wanted to, you could go back over here over to mark points. Now that we know that where our waypoint is, our SPI is already looking there. So now I know that uh, that point right here, uh, where's my mouse cursor? Right here. That point over here. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I just noticed I'm getting, yeah, that's what all those beeps are. Those are n nails, radar nails hitting our plane. So directly ahead of us is a JF, and you know that's a hostile because it's a diamond. If it was a square, that would be ally. So it'd be an ally locking onto us or something. But now it's a diamond, and it says JF with a chevron over it. Right now, the biggest threat is this thing. Right now, it's the F-16. There's an F-16 to our right. So if we were to look at the F-10 map, look to our right, which is west, because we're heading south. Uh, let's see. The only F-16 I see to our rear on the right is Pontiac 1-1, which is a friendly. I don't know why it's showing up as a diamond, because diamonds are supposed to be enemies. Maybe it's because he was locking on to us. I don't know. Uh, but that reminds me. We should definitely have our uh, count countermeasure system on. Uh, so let's see here. I, I know how to use this, so I'm going to set it to manual. For you, I would recommend having it on semi. Uh, so with semi, it'll choose the program for you. All you need to do is hit CMS up to activate it and CMS down to deactivate it. But if you know how to play with these, you can go to manual and then uh, when it's in manual, your programs will show up here. So D, like if you look at my Discord, D is my current program. Now I'm changing it to C, B. So now, uh, whoops. 
I just launched flares. Yeah, so CMS left short is a burst of flares. Uh, CMS right short, if you look at my plane, right is a bunch of chaff. So I don't know if that rendered properly, but uh, yeah. Yeah, on Discord, it's hard to tell if you see what I'm seeing. But yeah, uh, so left short is a burst of flares right as a burst of chaff so de no matter what program you're on it's going to do that but up up long up long and up short or down short is to change program so like down is going a b or down in program up is to go up so program and then it shows you a count of how many chaff and how many flares you have See, and like right now, that M with the underline on my screen, that means I'm in manual. All right, so for programs, if you want to see what your program is, when you're in that set program, you cl right click on your mouse where it says disp for display, and it'll tell me that is going to dump four flares every 0.2 seconds five times. So like right now, delta variant or Delta channel is for flares. Uh, Charlie is, oh uh, no, Charlie is flares. Bravo is chaff. And Alpha is chaff as well. Uh, so yeah, what I want to do is mostly use uh, chaff. So Let's see, that would be program B, I believe. Yeah, B. So B is going to be chaff. So if I get locked on to an RWR signal and a missile launches at me, first, you're gonna, on the RWR, you're going to see a line pointing towards you, meaning a missile was launched. And the nice thing with the A-10, you'll also get this light up, the ML. That's going to flash red with a bunch of beeping, and that means missile launch. Whether a missile launch is friendly or enemy, you're going to get that light up. So it's very annoying when people on SRS are not calling out their missile launches because you don't know if that's going to be a friendly missile or an enemy missile that your plane is picking up. So the biggest cue is if you keep an eye on your RWR, and then you see uh, one of those numbers flash with a missile launch warning, you know that's going to be an enemy. But if nothing here beeps or flashes and you get a missile launch, it might be an IR missile flying at you. What's your current speed, by the way? Uh, I am currently at 286, but I'm about to slow down to half speed because I just realized that, uh, let's see, wait. Yeah, waypoint 12. Uh, let's see, am I in mission? Okay, there we go. There we go. Mission, let's see, waypoint 12. Uh, we're at 40 miles. Yeah, I, I see you on Discord. Yeah, nice formation. Uh, i just slowing down. We're not banking anywhere. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, as you can see on your targeting pod, uh, we now have some shit show up. Uh, or some stuff is rendering, the ground is rendered. So now we can start looking for targets. So now I'm going to slow down to roughly 250 knots. Uh, so I don't think the A-10 has an ATC uh, like the F-18 does. So auto throttle, ATC is auto throttle controller. I don't think the A-10 has that. Yeah, so I'm just going to slow down to about half my power on my uh, throttle. Uh, so now we're going to slow down and we're going to use our targeting pod to start looking for shit. So now I'm going to freeze my track IR here. Whoops, I moved something. Yep. There you go. Autopilot back on. There you go. Now it's auto leveling. All right, so now we're going to look for targets. So now I'm in black or I'm in white hot so now I'm gonna look I'm gonna basically center on waypoint 12 go to mark points whoops uh, mark point
Yeah, that that that's our, that's ours. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw him on the F10 map. I saw him following us since earlier. Yeah, Def definitely love having close air patrol support. Yeah. Yeah, so you basically have your wings out just to keep up with us. And even then, now that we slow down... Yeah, that's what I figured, yeah. Where are you? Is that you? Yeah. Yeah, I see you. I've got visual. Yeah, because he's behind me, or he was behind me. Where? Yeah, I can't. I don't have visual, but that's fine. Yeah, I've got visual on uh, airs. Yeah, I love the F-14. Yeah, looking at the F-10 map, it looks pretty clear as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go back to, there we go. So now I'm pointed at waypoint 12. Now I'm scanning. So basically waypoint 12 is that airfield right here. So there we go. I have a bunch of shit showing up now. Oh yeah, in case you didn't know, your boat switch uh, forward short will throw your targeting pod in narrow and wide zoom. So, like right now, I'm zoomed in as far as I can. And I don't see... What's that? Uh, it depends on what we find. So basically, what you want to do is, as you find shit to shoot at, you're going to use your DMS right short to make a bunch of mark points to what you're looking at. See, like right now, I am looking at a, bil a building, although here, looks like there's a bunch of generators here, which I'm looking at, if you look at Discord. But uh, that's not very much a threat, so I'm gonna zoom out a little, and I'm gonna look for other heat signatures. So I'm on white hot, so there I go, boom. Picked up something here. Yeah, that's not a dangerous target. Yeah, I don't really see much down here. I don't even think I'm looking at the right thing. Let's look at the F10 map. Yeah, I'm obviously looking at the wrong spot because there's supposed to be a ton of shit down there. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go back. Yeah, I, I am on waypoint 12, I believe. Uh, let's see. Yoink. Yeah, waypoint 12. All right, I'm going to slave back there. Okay, yeah, it is there. All right, looks like we're heading straight down for it. We need to be in an orbit or else we're going to head right into those rings of the uh, SA-15. So let's do a slight bang to the left. All right, autopilot off. I'm going to do a slight bang to the left. I don't know where you are, but okay, you're behind me. So basically, I'm going to try and get in an orbit uh, formation around the objective. So I always want to keep my objective to my right because my targeting pod is on my right. So I usually want to have whatever I'm searching for targets at about a 40 degree angle to my right. So I'm kind of like heading away from the objective and keeping that on my right. So right around here should be good. So I'm going to re-engage autopilot. And now I'm going to look for some targets. So I'm going to do a manual search for a bit. Doesn't look... Yep, I do too. Yeah, you, we can use your targeting pod as well. Or we can use our targeting pod to see where it launched from. Boom, right there. I have eyes on it. Yep, so am I. So now I'm going to go DMS right short. Now I'm going to go to mark points. And zoom in, lock in onto that. 
so mark point F, Foxtrot. That's the last thing I looked at. Yep, that's it right there. So now I'm going to go to my Mavericks. Mavericks uh, on. Uh, now I'm going to make... In order to use Mavericks, though, you need to make your HUD soy. HUD soy, and then you need to use your DMS left and right to choose which missile. Yeah, I told them to power them off when we left, but when we took off, but forgot. Yeah, see, like, make sure your HUD is soy, and you use DMS left and right to choose what weapon. See, like, I just chose my Mavericks. So now my Maverick is on. Now I make it soy, and I slave it to my mark point. So now my seeker head is going to look in that direction. All right, so now I'm going to power up, bank. I'm going to head right for that area. In three minutes, right? You have to wait, right? Three, uh, not Mavericks. I think it's like eight minutes. eight minutes. Three minutes is your targeting pod. There should be a little counter on the bottom. It should say right down here where it says EO. Yeah. So, and once, whenever your Maverick sensor is soy, uh, you want to use DMS up short to lock on. See, like right now I'm out of range. I'm at 9.8. So once it hits that box, that little staple, that is where I'm in range. So now I'm going to go full speed so I can get in range quicker. See, like right now I, my seeker head is looking right at that, at that thing. All right, now... I'm still not in range. Now I should be in range. I'm... Oh, shit. Yep. Fox, or uh, rifle. Now I'm launching uh, chaff because that is a, uh, that is a heat, that is a radar lock. So I'm going full speed. I'm dumping a ton of chaff. Trying to avoid that missile. Oh my god! That just flew under me! I s literally saw the missile fly under it. Holy fuck. Oh, I'm hit! No, another one got me. I'm going down. Ejecting. Fuck! But, I think I probably got the, uh, mi the missile, though. I might have. Uh, let's see. That's not my Maverick. Uh, nope. Let's see. Yeah, so it looks like it shot down my missile or yours. Your, oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea if my missile even hit. Actually, let's see. Uh, there we go. Track IR stays there. Uh, shift caps. There we go. Uh, yeah, so Gauntlet killed Blue 4 player Slider. In A10 with a 9M330 uh, TOR. So the SA15 got me. However, yeah, I did not kill. Yeah, that that SA15 got me and another player. Yeah, exactly. Because it's IR. Exactly. That's what I love about the Maverick. Yeah, but yeah, I got... Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to do. Yeah, I was going to look at what Blue 4 airfield is now closest to Waypoint 12, where we can just take off and start engaging. Uh, I'm actually going to spawn at Hama, if I'm able to. So now i got to go to Select Roll. At Hama? 
Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah, right above uh, Loomis. Yeah, there we go. All right, so fly. Well, luckily it doesn't take me very long to get in the air because I know how everything works. So, all right, so load up. Uh, let's see, uh, PVE bombing run. Let's go 60% fuel, a lot of chaff, boom. All right, why is my track IR not working? What the hell? Uh, it's like for some reason it reset. Okay, there we go. Now it reconnected. Yeah, harms would be good to take out these goddamn Sams. Oh, you got shot down too. Uh, that sucks. Eject, man, eject. Uh, no, you, you died with your plane. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, you got shot down. All right, now hit escape, select roll, and then uh, look for uh, F or look for A10C at Hama. Look to see if there's a slot. If not, just wait till I take off. Hama is the closest airfield to the action. There we go. Taxi lights. Now I gotta wait for my weapons to load up. I... <laughs> oh, you're thinking of going up with the F-16? Uh, wait, who's this? I don't know what... Okay, Q, yeah, yeah. Q's, Q's the yeah, okay, yeah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, I have the 16, I just haven't learned it yet. The in-game tutorial is the worst I've ever fucking seen in this game. So, I plan on watching a bunch of uh, Ralphie Dudes tutorials on the F-16 instead. So, I'm, g I'm gonna learn it one of these days. I have so many planes that I haven't learned to fly yet. I think I own almost every blue four plane. There we go. Load DSMS. DSMS good. Perfect. All right. Now, while I'm still on the ground, let's uh, fire up the TGP. TGP on, boom. Uh, let's go. CMS manual. Uh, nope, definitely do not want program A. Program B. Is this you, Nick, Chaff, yep, yeah, there you go. What's that? Oh, that is you, okay. Yep, that is me next to you. Yeah, and then there's an F14 to your right. Nice. Oh, shit. I recognize the uh, wing pattern right away. All right, so weapons loaded. Everything seems loaded. All right, flaps down. All right, we are at Hama, although uh, now... So what a lot of people do is they'll go directly to frequency 305 in order to just talk over the radio. Uh, overcomes, but then again, you probably don't hear any of that because you don't have SRS. Uh, oh yeah, speaking of SRS, I need to make sure that my push to talk is set. Uh, let's see, controls. Uh, let's see, radio one. Set. Okay, yeah, it's not set. All right, for some reason, yeah, this is not working for some reason.
because UHF, I believe, is radio one. All right, let's see. Okay, now radio two is UHF. Okay, cool. Slider on SRS radio check over. Thank you, out. Hema, this diver 1-1 one, one, taxiing to runway. I'm right behind you, uh, Tomcat. Man, this is so cool. Being right behind that fucking Tomcat. What's that? They added a bunch of different beeps. Oh, for the RWR? You're a little too close, man. My uh, my exhaust would probably fry the paint off your uh, plane. Yeah, or about there. That seems about a good distance. See, like, that's about the distance I am from the Tomcat. I'm going to put some music on. Oh, nice. The Tomcat that's in front of me, he's in my stream. <laughs> he said, hey, that's me. <laughs> His name is 466. Yeah, that's awesome. That's funny. What a coincidence. Well, now you're on YouTube. Oops, I accidentally disabled my nose wheel steering. I was like wondering why I couldn't fucking fix myself. I'm like, whoops. Yeah, well, he is taking this runway because he doesn't need that much space to take off. We are going to keep going to the end of the runway, so follow me. Because he needs less room to uh, take off from. But us, as a hog, we are heavy as fuck. I'm heavier than you, I believe, yeah. Because whenever we were at full mill power, uh, or I was at full mill, he was at like 75% to keep up with me. Oh, I just realized we're taxiing the wrong way. The taxi way is the other end of the airfield, I believe. Because it looks like, yeah, this is bearing 100. Yeah, there goes the F-14. Yeah, it's got twin engine. Yeah. All right, now Tesla is taken off. Hama, Dever 1-1, taking active runway right behind Tesla. All right, I'm ta yep, I'm going to take the left side of the runway. Yep, that's why I took the left side. So you could take the right. All right, make sure you are uh, flaps down. And then as soon as you're you're ready, I'm going to take off. I'm going to start spooling up. As soon as you're next to me, I'm going to take off. Then you take off a couple seconds later.
Hama, Diver 1-1, one, one, rolling. There's definitely going to be some tanks out here for y'all. Oh, I'm sure. I think most of the air is down. So y'all should be able to get nice and close. Take this That's good. Well. Nice. All right, make sure you have uh, Waypoint 12 selected as your target because that's where we're heading so that way our targeting pod will know which way to head to and looking at our right out our cockpit we our waypoint is directly to our right so i'm going to climb up at about a 15 degree climb so we can get up as uh, soon as possible all right i'm going to slave my targeting pod since i already had it up Make sure to warm up your Mavericks. My Mavericks are aligning right now. Oh, you already turned them on? Okay. Yeah, I just turned mine on. So by the time we find targets, we should be good to find something to fire at. Sounds good. Oh, I just saw a missile on... Oh, no. No idea. Right now, I'm, I'm looking at some targets here. All right, mark point set. Fuck. I'm masking. All right, I'm going to go path hold. So path hold is if you want to keep a certain bank and angle while you're climbing. So like right now, I'm at a hold of... Five degrees pitch up, so now I will be able to keep that aligned while I am climbing. All right, yeah, I see someone doing a gun run right now. Yeah, oh, that is a huge explosion! My IR is off the charts right now. Jesus, fuck. Okay, never mind. Yeah, something something in the air just lit up my whole screen. Alright, now I found a bunch of other targets. Alright, I'm going to slow down. So I don't know if you're right behind me. I'm slowing down a little. Okay, that's what I was looking at earlier, these things. But these are not the dangerous things. It's back here. Oh, he sniped you? Oh, I think it's this thing that I'm looking at right now. I think it's an SA. I think you just crashed on him. Yeah, mark point A. That's my only mark point. Yep, that's it. That's what I'm looking at right now. I think it's still alive. Yeah, it's right there. I see it on my mark point. Yeah, I'm going to roll in with a uh, Mav. All right, let's see. Make sure I'm Master Arm on. Yep, Master Arm on. Gun pack arm. And there we go, Maverick. Uh, I plan to, yep. Okay. So right now we are heading right for my mark point. Uh, that reminds me. Yoink. Uh, let's see. How do I make my speed on again? I keep forgetting how to fucking turn my speed on. I can tell you. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've got my Tad Soy right now. It's, it's TMS left long. TMS left long? Yeah. Uh, TMS... Yeah, so I'm broadcasting my SPI. Yeah, so whole team has left long. All right, what the fuck? Is, is am I even hitting the right button? Oh, that's DMS. This is TMS. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, sorry. TMS. TMS. Yeah, yeah. Now you said it right. I'm the one who had the wrong one. 
There we go. Spia is on. So now if you look at your tad, Mark, uh, you should uh, you should be able to see uh, my spi on the ground. So you you can see other people's spi as well. So if any other A-10 broadcasts their spi, it would be visible. Uh, so in order to see it, you'll see it on you'll see it on whenever you're looking through your JTAC, your J, uh, HMCS, or if you look at your TAD page. Like if you look at my Discord stream, if you look at your screen here, you would see other people's spi on the ground with a blue line towards their where their plane is. All right, uh, yeah, let's go back to my Mavericks. There we go. Maverick is soy. There we go. Locking on to my mark point. There we go. All right, now I'm full speed. Uh, let's look up here. All right, did it get destroyed or what? I don't see it anymore. What? The thing I was going for. Yeah, there's another, I think a Harry or something out there. I think he had food. Or wait a sec. There's something else here. Yep. I think I see a Bradley. I'm going to go for the Bradley. Whoops. All right, so that'll be Bravo. Yeah, Mark Point Bravo. Yeah, Mark Point Bravo. All right, now I'm going to slave my Maverick over to it. All right, where the fuck is it? Oh, whoops. Yeah, this way. There we go. Looks like they both take care of that last target. Yep, they just did. I see it on my targeting pod. That sucks. I fucking hate this server. Every time A-10s go to attack something, the goddamn jets fucking steal the t targets. Every fucking day. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to set autopilot on. Just hold me myself here. I'm going to look at the F10 map, find somewhere that no one is heading to. Every single fucking time an A10 goes somewhere, everybody goes there too. Fuck sakes. It takes us half an hour to get across the map. Fuck sakes. I hate this fucking server so much. Uh, hang on. I think I see a waypoint we can head to that no one seems to be going for. Uh, let's go for waypoint 17. So go to your HUD and select 17. Is that, uh, in uh, I think so. Yes, it is. So just uh, go to your uh, HUD and select Waypoint 17, and I'm going to head that away. Uh, so that is directly to our left. So banking left, climbing up a little. I'm going to try and get us near uh, 9,000 feet. What's that? Right. Okay, yeah, I see you. Phoenix. 
Yeah, I hate this server. Uh, so since I always keep my targets to my right, I'm going to be heading out way, uh, bearing 145. Actually, no, uh, roughly 150. So 150 and climbing. Actually, no, I'm going to stay out about where I'm at because, uh, all right, let's see. Uh, path, altitude heading, yep, altitude heading. So roughly at about uh, 8,000 feet because uh, the damn cloud cover in this server is fucking low as fuck. Hello? Uh, my, my shit crashed. Oh, uh, shit. Your game crashed? Is my plane going down? Uh... I don't see you. Hang on. Uh, you despawned? Yeah, actually. Your game crash, you mean? Yeah, that's what I thought, because I'm looking at... Yeah, I don't know if that's you that I see on my TAD page, but I don't see you anymore. The only thing I see is behind me, but it's not moving. Well, that sucks. All right, well, let me know once you're back in server. What the hell? Okay, yeah, that is where I'm heading. All right, so I don't even know what the hell I'm looking for. It looks like it's a town. No, it's an airfield. All right, weird. I don't see an airfield here on my HUD or on my targeting pod. Oh, yeah, there it is. Is that an airfield? Hard to tell. Yeah, I think that's an airfield. Kind of looks like a highway. All right, kind of looks like I'm looking over a mountain right now, or th trying to look through a mountain. Because the waypoint is 29 miles out. Oh, shit. Missile launch. What the fuck? I don't see anything out there. There's no radar warning. It's probably just a f IR missile. Uh, Ayers, do you see any missile launch under me or near me? What's that? Do you see any missile launches near me? I just got a missile launch warning. No errors, I said. Uh, I meant, uh, sorry, I meant Q. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I don't. 
Okay, that's what's going on. Yeah, Phoenix or 466 just said in the stream that he's firing missiles near me. So that's what's setting off my uh, alarms. Because he didn't call out his Phoenixes on uh, SRS. <clears throat> yeah, you're supposed to call out your uh, Maverick launches there, buddy. <laughs> All right, heading back towards waypoint 12. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm sure you're not the only one that doesn't know how to use this radio. All right, let's see if I can get some visual here. Okay, so there's a mountain right in front of me. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, the airfield is behind the mountain. That's why all I see is mountain. Because of my targeting pod. Yeah, I'm not high enough, I think. All I'm seeing is this mountain top. But, yeah, it looks like the airfield's behind it. Yeah, looking at the map. Yeah, that's what's going on. There's a huge mountain right here that's in my way. Yep, that's a mountain that's in my way. That's exactly what I'm looking at. All right, let's uh, approach from the north then. All right, that is a Mirage 2000 that's na nailing me. All right, I'm in program Bravo. Yeah, that's chaff. Program Bravo is chaff. There we go. Now I can see the airfield, or I should be able to. Yep, there it is. Now to slow down. Autopilot. And it's time to start scanning. All right, that looks like a radar dish. Mark point Alpha. Mark point Bravo. Oh, that is a BMP, I believe. Mark point Charlie. That looks like a radar dish. Mark point Delta. Don't know what that is, but I'm going to blow it up anyway. Oh, that looks dangerous. Oh, yeah, that's a radar site. And that looks like something else behind it. Oh, shit, something is locking onto me. Yup, something's locking onto me. Time to fucking hurry the fuck up. Alright, uh, yoink. Alright, Mavericks are set. Uh, let's find me a target. Mark points on. All right, yeah, go attack those radar sites. What's, it, what's this closest airfield uh, from you right now? I have no idea. Was it the one I spawned in? Or the one we spawned in together the second time? Uh, Hama, I believe so.
Fuck, how far am I? Ten miles. Jesus Christ. I better climb. Okay, there we go. I'm approaching... Come on, lock on. Yes, firing. 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 Diver 1-1, one, one, rifle times three. See, if you're looking at my stream, uh, I've got three fucking Mavericks heading to w each of one of these targets. Oh, shit. So I basically fired off three Mavericks in a row. Basically, I set one mark point SP, locked on with the IR on the Maverick, launched it, switched mark point to a different one, locked on with the Maverick, launched it, and then did the same thing with three of them. So I just got a kill. There you go. I got an SA-11. An SA-11. And let's see what else I got. So as you can see the picture in picture here on the bottom left here, uh, basically when you have the joint head mounted uh, display selected, you can use DMS left short to turn it on and off. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm, I can go picture in picture with what's on my targeting pod. Oh, something just fired at me. No, that is... That is a, that's a Sam. Oh, yep, got me. I, I launched so many fucking flares and chaff and it still got me. I launched like three bursts of chaff and it still got me. Fuck, I hate this game. Or I hate fucking the way AAs work and... Chaff and flare don't do fuck all in this game. Apparently, someone told me that that's how it is in real life, too. It's that fucking hard. Uh, Sams are that effective. Yeah, it is that hard to evade Sams. But, yeah, I got three... I got two SA-11s, but then the third fucking Sam got me. Fuck, this is why I gave up playing this game. It's such a pain in the ass. Like, it's not like in Squad... Exactly. That's why I hate the server so much. People always steal my kills because it takes me half an hour to get to load up a plane, rearm, get there just to fucking die or just to have other people steal my kills. But this is why I gave up playing this game so many times because I'm so sick and tired of fucking dying and then taking another half hour to get there. It's such a pain in the ass. That's why I prefer squad. With squad, you die, you wait five minutes for your heli to respawn, then you fucking go back in the action. Yeah, I had gotten fucking mad at it and uninstalled it a while back, but then I started playing again. Oh, this is going to be my last time. I die again, I'm going to play squad. Because this is a fucking pain in my ass. But tomorrow I'm definitely down to play all day with you. Or most of the day. I'll play the afternoon. We'll go in a dead server where we can just do our own thing. Uh, and then I can basically show you... We'll go on a really quiet PvE server. Where we can practice against uh, some like dumb targets. 
So we so that way we can practice uh, with all the different weapon systems. Fuck, this game is so fucking annoying. This is why I never play fucking uh, PvP. I can't even take on AI. Imagine taking on other players. See, and as I die, now there are three goddamn F-16s. Or F-15, F-16, and F-18, yeah. So, th the three Fs, fucking fucking fuckers are at waypoint 12 or no that's waypoint 17 where we where i just died yeah one of our f-18s actually just died good for you fucker go somewhere else god damn it now we're i'm spawning at hama which is where is hama what the fuck Which waypoint is Hamma at? Uh, let's look. Shit. Route 11. 11? Where the fuck? Yeah. That's 18. Should be 11. My god, this one's busy. Is it 11? That's 15. Where the fuck is Hamma? Oh, actually I can just do that and there we go that's where I am so I am way up here yeah I am far I should have nah go ahead man I just finished rearming just now so alright so load DSMS Targeting pod, boom. All right, so targeting pod is on. Yep. Yep, everything looks good. All right, flaps down. All right, uh, yoink. Oh yeah, parking brake's on. Yoink, parking brake. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to go line up the same place everyone did earlier. Fuck okay, I'm just gonna do a rolling rolling takeoff, not even stopping.
There we go, 100 knots, take off. All right, heading back to waypoint 17, full speed. Seventy-two miles out, I should be there in twenty-seven minutes. Fuck sakes, I hate this plane. All right, let's do a path hold. I think this is path. No, that's path. There we go. Uh, I am way behind you. Okay. I just took off from Hama, so you are way ahead of me. Yeah, I see you on uh, F10 map. I am about, uh, yeah, I should have spawned at waypoint 12. I was at waypoint 11. So, yeah, I am literally, how many miles is that? About 40 miles behind you. So yeah, you need you need to slow the fuck down. <laughs> There's a, there, or you go ahead at waypoint 17. There's only a BMP and a Leopard left, and right now there's an F16. No, no, it's fine. Try to get some kills. Or let's see. Yeah, let's. Uh, you try to take out whatever you can at waypoint 17. And then once we get there, we'll head for waypoint 20 at Damascus. So we'll head for Damascus afterwards. No wonder I'm so heavy. Look at all the bombs on my plane. on stream oh, all right master mode on boom gun ready jammer on uh let's see cms there you go manual Manual. There we go. Bravo profile. Yup, chaff. Is it Charlie or Delta that's f flares? Okay, yeah. Charlie. So Bravo, chaff, Charlie flares. Fuck, I'm already getting nails from an F4. What? The F-16 just went right on top of my shit, dude. What's that? The F-16 went right on top of my shit. Ah, uh, that sucks. Well, he didn't crash on me, but he was, like, really close. Oh, you mean he's trying to fl fly in formation with you. Yeah, I see him. I see him on F-10. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to keep up, but he can try, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got an F4 to my left. Okay, that's this thing. Yeah, an F4 just got taken out by Dark Knight. An F18. He just took it out. Nice. I once took out an F14 with an A10. That was a that was awesome. An F14 with an A10. Yep, I had a hostile F14 engaging me on this map and I actually managed to take it out air to air with some sidewinders. Uh do you know how do you know how to use air to air with this? Uh, with the, yeah, the A10, yeah. yeah, okay good. I don't know how to keep up with me, but... Oh. I guess the F sixteen can go pretty slow then.
Okay, that's what that is. That is my cluster bomb. Yeah, I chose the profile with a GBU-12 on my center pylon. That's why I'm so heavy. The GBU-12 is a fucking 2,000 palm cluster bomb. I think. Let me check my binder. I've got a binder with all the weapons for the F-18, but I'm pretty sure they're the same. Bomb wise, let's see, GBU 12. Uh, let's see, where are my GBUs? There we go, GBU 12. Yeah, that is a 600 pound laser guided bomb. Yeah, it's mostly meant for single target heavy uh, penetration. I think. Is that what I've got here? Yeah, GBU-12. Yeah. According to my binder here. Yeah, GBU-12 is a 82LG laser-guided bomb. Meant for single targets. It is a 600-pound bomb. All right, I've got something off to my front here targeting me. Oh, that's waypoint 17. There must be an SA-11 locking onto me again. I'm at 48 miles out, so I should be fine. Once again, I s the mountain's in my way. All right, let's try and climb. Oh, right. I don't think my mouths are loaded. No, they're not. What the hell? No Maverick? Oh, I don't have Mavericks on this setup. I loaded the wrong profile. Shit, all I have are all I have are laser guided GPU or uh, GPS guided bombs and yeah. Uh yeah, so all all I'm going to have are GBU 38s. That's not too bad. Those are uh uh those are CCRP bombs. There you go. Manual release. Yeah. So that's not too bad. As long as I have a mark point set for a target, that's fine. There you go, a little bit of clear cloud cover here. Okay, there's something to target here. Boom. Booyah. Oh, fuck. Finally on my first kill. Holy shit. Nice. Congrats. Getting your first kill in an A10 is fucking awesome. Alright, what the hell? I don't know what the fuck these things are. Fuck. Oh shit. What? The t I was trying to take it and die and it, it pointed straight towards me. It's fucking scary. Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. I found something to shoot at. I think I found the tank you're looking at. I'm looking right at it. All right, let's go to mark points.
Yep, there we go. Looking right at it. Let's see. If I have a drop line in front of me, that means it's a laser guided bomb or GPS guided bomb. Uh, for some reason, I don't have a fall line. It says, oh, use CCRP. I think I'm in CCIP. Guns, CCIP. There we go, CCRP. There's my fall line. There we go. Now I can go high and avoid missiles, hopefully better. But yeah, now I've, I'm basically going to be dropping Jeep, uh, GPS-guided bombs on this tank. Oh, I like this song. Yeah, if you're too close, yeah, it's not going to let you. Uh, you want to You want to put your stream back up? There we go. Watching your stream. Where are you at? Uh, let's see. I am literally... Let's see. That's 80. That's 40. I'm about 30 miles behind you. I'm heading right for waypoint 17. Right now I'm heading right for a tank that's over there. I'm literally, I'm 26 miles out. Ah shit, I'm getting locked on by an F-14 I think from behind me. Uh, get out of there, man. Don't fly over. Mavericks are fire and forget. Remember? Oh. Oh, that's the tank I was going for. I just saw it blow up on my targeting pod. <laughs> uh, no, no, that's fine. You did say you were going for a tank. But you, you don't know. That's fine. There are other targets nearby, I'm sure. That's fine. I'm going to slow down and find something else to shoot at. Yeah, I'm 20 miles out. Don't worry about it. I slowed down. All right, I'm fucking yelling here. There we go. Turn my music down. Uh, don't worry about it. You did say you were firing out a tank, and I said, oh, I just found a tank. So, yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry. I'm uh, more used to the targeting pod than you are. I already found a new target. There we go. Uh, I am heading for this target that I just found. Alright, I'm 18 miles out from this fucking target. Jesus Christ. The A-10 is so slow. What's that? Oh, all these uh, AA to our, to our east... That is a lot of AA, or a lot of air threats. Yeah. Uh, where are we? Okay, that is near waypoint. Yeah, near waypoint 17. Diver 1-1 one, one to any air assets near waypoint 17. We've got four uh, Red 4 targets northeast of our position. Roughly 30 miles Uh, that is a name seven. That's, uh, it looks like it was a friendly target or a friendly missile. Oh, I saw my lights on. There we go. All right. 
Wait, I am 10 miles from that fucking target. Nobody better fucking shoot this thing. Really? Yeah, look at the map. You see it? There's a missile heading towards you? Oh, that that's an AIM-7M. That's a... Yeah, that looks like... Maybe it was shooting at our other uh, Blue 4. Because that is an IR missile. I don't think it would have that much range. Wait, that's an AIM-7. Yeah, I think that's an... Yeah, I... Pr Yeah, not sure. Why is this not telling me I can drop yet? Okay, I'm still 50 seconds out. That's why. Yeah, no, I think it's losing too much energy. All right, 30 seconds to drop. All right, why does that look like that's directly below me? Was I too late to drop this bomb? It's telling me I'm still 20 seconds out. But now I just passed it. Yeah, yeah, I think I passed the drop point. That was giving me my distance, but yeah, I wasn't paying attention because I was looking at the F-10 map at one point. Yeah, I'm going to go past it, and then I'll turn around and try to get it. Yeah, because looking at my uh, targeting pod, yeah, I overshot it. Shit. Did you just launch a missile? Okay, I think something is shooting at me. No, it's a... Uh, no, I think there's a SAM site below me. Yeah, there's a SAM site to my... Uh, yep, to my west, I believe. To my... Directly to my left. No, I don't see it. I see it, uh, fuck, where is it? Oh, it, did it go away? Fuck. It it's... Right yeah, I think it's over by this way. It... I don't see the trails. Anyway, I'm going to turn around and head for that, uh, target. Yep. Yeah, it came from here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, I found it right here. Yeah, if you only knew how to sh shit, I see it firing on your stream, but I don't see it on my end. Oh, fuck, that looks like it's coming from ahead of me, according to my stream, or according to my RWR. Is that coming from right where I'm heading to? Fuck. Okay, there I go. There's my fall line. Yep. There I go. I, bombs away. Hopefully I... Holy shit! Yep, it got me. Motherfucker. Fuck, I hate this goddamn game. Fuck, I suck. God damn it. Fuck. And it sucks that there are so many fucking air threats and there are no fucking air-to-air -air fucking planes. Everyone's focusing on air-to-ground today. It fucking sucks.
Well, I'm done for the night. I'm going to go play some squad. Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow, though, so I can help you out. Because right now, this is a pain in the fucking ass. Fuck. This sucks. I'm done for the night.